Hey guys, how you doing? Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm done with the the tool setter on the machine. It's uh, it's finished. Uh, the macro is done. The relay back there is also wired. Uh, in the that relay over there is switching the two. I mean the two inputs or the two outputs from the devices uh, into the input on the control board to Mac 3. They both working good. I'm gonna show you a little bit on the code here. I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can because I'm tired today. But uh, let's go to it. Let's see. Let's come here. Pull the script. Pull the script out. I hope you get it over there. There you go. So this part, you saw it the other day on the last video. And here I'm making sure I'm on working coordinates. Then I turn on my output. The one I just told you about is uh, I activate output number three. I'll wait for it uh, for one second. Then I make sure I get feedback uh, to my LED. What I mean with that is, let me see if I can show you at once. Yes. See this LED right here? That's my probe over there. So if my output comes on and this LED don't go off, that means something happened on the wiring. I'm not getting feedback to Mac 3. So the whole macro is going to stop working. If everything goes good, this LED goes off, the rest of the code is going to work. The, the rest of the macro is going to work. And then I just, you know, move to whatever the... The tool setter is, I move to G59 uh, work offset, and the main part works. Then here at the end of the main part, I deactivate output number three and move back to G54. So, like I said, I'm going to go through it again. Make sure I got a tool on the, make sure I got a tool, I'm lower than the carousel. Make sure my B-axis is referenced, which is my carousel. Make sure my C-axis is being referenced. And make sure I'm on working coordinates. Activate output number three. Then I make sure the activation on number three did uh, uh, connected my input to my pro. Then I move to my offset whatever my uh set it is which if it's yours it's going to be on different coordinates here and then i just do the main part and then i deactivate that output three it goes back to the regular mode on on the pro and then it moved to g54 why i'm moving back to g54 because the other day after i done the video for you guys i was working uh I was, you know, probing a tool on two height right here. Let me move the camera again. So I was, I was checking my tool height. My tool went over there. It touched it on the thing. Since the code was only moving to G59, I was set on G59. Uh, so I stay on G59. What I did, I jog. On my C axis and move my C axis a little bit higher than whatever the the macro left it at, but I was still on G59. Then I re zero my C axis, thinking I was on G54. So I didn't thought about going back and just typing in, you know, uh, G54. It was on G59. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, what I did this time, I left it inside the macro. Inside that macro over there, I put make sure, just, you know, it doesn't, it's not, uh, wrote, I didn't wrote it like that, but that's make sure after you're done with this uh, uh, function here, you go back to G54. That way I can mess uh, with uh, my G59. So the other day, yeah, I, you know, jog it up, move my C height. Then re-zero my Z, and after I re-zero my Z, 
uh my uh I lost my G59 uh working coordinate. So I have to re zero again and reset my tool set it and all that. So I fixed that uh that way. I put a G54 inside that code. So I'm going to show you the wiring back here on the relay which is really simple. But for some guys it's not So right here, I get this blue wire right here. That's my output from the relay going to my input on my control board. And then these two black wires right here, one is the probe and the other one is the tool setter. So my relay is on the, my probe, sorry, my probe is on my normally closed leg on, on my relay. Then when I call my output over there, output number three, it will switch from the probe to the setter and it will send that signal to this blue wire into the control board. If that signal good, okay, my LED goes off, then the rest of the macro is gonna work. So it's really simple. If one happens, the other one will. So that's it guys. Uh, And so the two setter is done. I want it to be, I want to touch a little point on, uh, guys, you know, I never edit my videos. So if I'm doing something or trying to explain you something on the, on a video, uh, many times you won't understand because I can't explain myself good. So I need you to go to the comments and tell me which part you didn't understand. If you understood everything, I'm fine with that. That is the main reason why I do these videos. No for comments or likes or this and that. The main reason I'm doing this video is for you to understand and learn. Whoever doesn't understand that, like me, two or three years ago, I would go to YouTube, watch a video and I, everything was in Chinese. Like there was no one word on it that I would understand at all. I mean, all they were talking, it was in a different language out of space. So if there's something you don't understand from any of the videos I, I have done, or if you, there's something that you don't understand only on this one, just for saying, go to the comment and tell me, Hey, listen, this part of the video, I didn't understand. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I will try to go over there and make a small video on that part that you didn't understand. If you tell me the minutes, I'll try to uh, as soon as I get a chance. But uh, that will help me make you understand or at least try to, you know, make you understand. I know a lot of viewers out there, you know, like uh, they will just watch the video just for fun because we like this. I mean, I enjoy doing this and, and I just watch videos or... Uh, <clears throat> any kinds on CNC and, and they are fun to me. I like it. Uh, so <clears throat> if you just watch it, even though you know, it's fine. But if you don't understand, do not be afraid to ask, please ask me. Uh, I wanna be here to help you. I want to help you. Uh, how can I help you understand better? How can I help you have fun with the machine? There's a, there's a time range or a time frame, if I can say it like that, or it really wasn't, uh, it wasn't fun for, uh, you know, for a time frame when I was, uh, you know, like a year or so ago, it was kind of, you know, aggravating. I wasn't getting it right. And, and so, but you know, the more you learn it just get fun, you know, it, it turns in a, into a fun situation. And, and, and that's what I want to do. I wanted to make sure you like this and, and you enjoy CNC and so uh, I hope you like it and please ask, let me help you <clears throat> if I can. And I see you in the next video. Next one is going to be on the Cincinnati. I got a block over there. I'm not going to show you now because uh, it's on the other corner of the shop now. Uh, I cleaned the shop this week and moved the machine over to the corner. So the other video is going to be on the Cincinnati with the four axis and the shaft. And I got a block over there. It's a... Uh, a 3.5, uh, 3.5 F-150 twin turbo. 
I guess it's uh, 2015. I got it on the other shop in town. They're working on it. So I decided I wanted to block, bring the block and set up, send it to the machine shop, bring it here and let me resurface the block myself. So tomorrow I'm gonna be making the bushings <clears throat> and I, I might, you know, I might do a video on a fly cut on both of the uh, cylinder size. So yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. Guys, I uh, wish you the best and good night. See you again.